Hello everybody, this is Johnny MS, and I've had MS since 2012. Today I'm going to talk about some of the exercises I do around the house, because I'm fairly limited, so there's not a lot I can do because of my leg weakness, but I'm going to tell you some of the ones that I focus on to make my life better. I've been focused on my body in many ways. And one of the ways that I really need to improve is activity. I need to do exercise for general body health, but also for my MS. So the big thing that I've been doing, I've been uh, focusing on weightlifting and other things. I used to play uh, football and with me, it was always, I knew how to go into the weight room and lift weights and do cardio and that kind of thing. But now I'm way beyond that. That's 20 years ago. And on top of that too, my body's very different now. I'm older. I'm 44. Back in high school, obviously, I was like 16, 17, 18. There's that. But then it's also the MS, right? I have a lot of leg weakness. And I need to find ways to exercise something, like to do something without overstressing my weak legs because my biggest uh, symptom right now is leg weakness and that's I'm trying to improve that in some way maybe leg strength but obviously strength in the legs isn't the only thing that's going to help this what I wanted to talk about I wanted to walk you through the types of things that I've been doing nothing major but I just want to share it with you just to maybe you can comment and add some other exercises that I haven't identified yet. But I've been doing some research on the types of physical activities that can be done with MS and leg weakness. And there's a there's a physical therapist. Her name is Gretchen Hockley, I think. I can't remember exactly. I'm sorry. Gretchen Hockley, she does great uh, YouTube videos about different physical therapy items that somebody with MS could do. And so I've gotten ideas from her, but then I've also done a lot of other research. I'll start with arms are the easiest thing. So I've narrowed it down to two areas that I can still do while very modified. All right, make sure to leave me a thumbs up because that at least tells me that you're watching this and at least you're getting a little bit of value. Thumbs up really helps to me. So, Arms and legs, I can still do both, very modified, but I can still get a good burn with my arms and do some heavy weight with my arms. And with legs, I can do, I'll call it minor stuff, but it can still be done. With arms, the best way I can simplify it and do it is to have some sort of dumbbells, right? I can't really stand up and do dumbbells, but I can sit on a bench, on a workout bench, and do some basic dumbbells. And the thing is that with arms, I can get a good burn. I have a full dumbbell set that I can get the correct weights that I need. And I've gotten to a point where in my master, I'm a very minimalist person, so my master's big. And I can even put a exercise bench in my master because I can't put it out in the garage because I can't let the garage get too hot and then I'm not able to work out with my heat. I have it in my master, in my master bedroom. And it makes it to where every morning I won't even leave my master area after I take a shower and all of that until I do some basic exercises. I can't do a full hour like I used to but I can do a reduced version. It ranges um, every day. It could be 20 minutes. It could be 30 minutes. I think a long time for me is 45 minutes. But when it comes to arms, I can do, I can sit on the workbench, on the exercise bench and do dumbbells. And I usually do three sets of eight and I try to do bigger weight. Uh, bigger weight is relative when I was doing weightlifting before I was doing decently heavy weight, 50 pounders for dumbbells. But now it's like I'm doing 20 to 25 ers I don't even do a lot of weight. The other thing, the other area I do is 
So I already said arms, but the other area I do is legs. I, I've done my research and I feel like leg strength is my biggest weakness and improving leg strength has got to be promising and helpful for MS. I'm not saying it's a solution to our walking issues. I'm just saying leg strength in general has to help. Now that I'm not on my legs as much, I just, I don't use my legs much. I don't walk around and it's amazing how much walking does to your leg strength. I used to walk miles and miles. When I went to Europe, it was 10, 15 miles a day. So now it's, I'm lucky if I do a mile total in the entire day. Cause there's a lot of sitting now. I can walk, I can stand up for let's say five minutes, but then after about five minutes, my legs get really weak. So I have to sit. Sadly, my life is a lot of sitting. Luckily I work by sitting at a computer, so that's good. But then the other thing too, I watch way too much TV now. I was, I was always into TV, but not this much. This is crazy. I watch so many sports. I probably have hours of sports that I watch every week. So legs, the thing I'm doing these days is body weight leg squats. So Dr. or I don't know if she's a doctor, but Dr. Gretchen Hockley, the physical therapist, she explains that using our legs to sit and get up is the most common action that we as people with MS need to work on because even when you're super weak and in a wheelchair, you need to be able to sit on a toilet or sit in a chair and get up, right? That's what I've been doing these days. My exercises these days, my biggest one is the toilet. We need to be able to sit at a toilet and then get back up. I practice that every day. I don't do a lot, but I do, I'm gonna say 20 reps per day, 10 in the morning, and then I have my day, my normal day, and then 10 before I go to sleep. Cause I can't do more than that. <clears throat> Because I've tried, I've done 40 and 50 a day and my legs get so weak. And with MS, you're probably like me. We just can't recover as quickly as we once did. If I do 10 in the morning, I have my day and then 10 in, at night before bed. That's the best I can do. And I don't hold on to anything. I don't hold on to the walls or anything because I want to use pure legs. I want to be able to use my body to give the weight on my legs to coordinate and get stronger. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm able to walk around my house. I'll give myself an 85. I'm not great at it, but I'm able to. I can walk around my house 85%. I'm going to say a B plus and it's not crazy far, but I always know there's a chair. If I do get tired, or I have issues walking, I can sit and just rest a little bit. But having a chair always there is helpful. But with my walking around the house, like first thing in the morning before I take any of my Ampira, I can tell my legs are, I'll say extra weak. And my right leg, which is my bad leg, it it is a little more draggy. So I have to drag it more. I will say I can walk around my house, but I would never say good. I would say satisfactory. I'm okay. I can get around, but I'm not fast. I can't run. That's my extent of walking that I can do. Even if I drive to a restaurant, I can park in the handicap and I can walk into the restaurant, sit at the table and then get up when it's time to leave. I can do that. Sometimes if it's a farther restaurant, it's harder, but I can do that. But all in all, that's the extent of my walking. And I think my leg exercises have helped. If I've done my exercises already, I am not going to be good for walking longer distances, even if I try, because I'm going to be too weak. I'm going to be too tired. 
if I know I'm going to have to be walking a little more than normal that day, I won't do my leg exercises. Another good thing too about leg exercises, I think they've helped me with my walking up and down the stairs. So I have a two-story house and the only times I really walk upstairs is because when my daughter stays here, she's eight and I take her to school. I'm very lucky that I can still drive and be a dad and I can take her to school still. When she stays over on those nights, she stays three nights a week. And on those nights, I can walk up my house stairs and put her to bed and then come back downstairs. That I think has helped me in one way because it helps my leg strength. But then doing my leg exercises I've been doing, I think has made, have made my legs stronger and better to walk upstairs. I'm not going to ever say good. Like I always say, I'm not going to say good, but it's enough. It's enough to hopefully by strengthening my legs, I will be able to stay away from the wheelchair. My biggest concern is the wheelchair and I'm constantly doing things to not go in that direction because with MS, obviously we don't have a cure, but it could keep on getting worse and worse. And then maybe I have to be in a wheelchair, even around the house. And that would, that's my nightmare. I don't want that. I know a lot of people with MS do get there, but I'm going to do everything I can to fight that and not get there yet. If there are any comments that you have to maybe give me some tips, that would be really helpful if you can add a comment of maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I should add something or do something extra. That would really help for you to give me some tips. I would love to interact with you over comments and we can discuss. All right, make sure to leave me a thumbs up because that at least tells me that you're watching this and at least you're getting a little bit of value. Thumbs up really helps me understand if people are enjoying what I'm sharing.